Hello, I'm Greg Zilla, and welcome to Kinda Reviews. Where I review a video game, but only kinda. It's been a pretty long time since I've done one of these. Seriously, look how long ago that was. I was just a youngin', hadn't even grown into my big boy colors. But I think it's time I gave Kinda Reviews another shot. And today, I'll be kinda reviewing... Ape Escape. I'll get things started with a simple overview. Ape Escape is a video game where you travel back to the Ice Age and use a slingshot to shoot at a monkey who's riding on a woolly mammoth while holding a machine gun. Let me try that again. Ape Escape is a game about monkeys and pants. Seriously though, let's get down to business. Ape Escape is a 3D action platformer released in 1999 for the original PlayStation, and it was one of the first games to show off the DualShock controller. To make two analog sticks seem extra special, they went a little bit crazy with the control scheme. For instance, what button do you use to jump? R1, of course, what else would it be? And I assume the right stick is just to control the camera like a normal game, and I am- What? The right stick is the attack button? What is this, a top-down shooter? I didn't pay for this, give me my monkey back. Money, I- give me- give me my money back. Anyways, the controls might seem weird at first, but they actually work really well. You move around with the left stick, and you have a bunch of different tools and gadgets that you can assign to the face buttons, which can then be used with the right stick, which means you can do stuff like swing a club or point a radar in whichever direction you push the stick. Your main item is the time net, which you use to capture monkeys and send them back where they came from. Hell. Oh, before I go any further, I should probably talk about the story. One day, a cute little zoo monkey named Spectre put on a helmet. And now he's evil. So he puts evil mind control helmets on all the monkeys in the zoo and sets out to control time and space. Wouldn't you? They go to a laboratory and tie up the professor and his assistants so they can steal their time station and do evil monkey things. But their best buddies Spike and Jake arrive on the scene just in time for... It works. It actually works. We did it, Natalie. We did it. Yeah, right on, Professor. Two boys are probably dead because of you. Good for science. Also, they clearly didn't tie up your legs, so you guys, you, you can leave now. Anytime. From that point forward, you control Spike, using the time station as a central hub to travel between levels and capture monkeys all across time. Once you step on the time machine, then you pick a level, and then this anime tells you how many monkeys you need to catch, and then you're off to explore. The levels are pretty open-ended, so it's up to you to use your gadgets and explore the environment and find as many monkeys as possible. And you have a pretty sizable arsenal of gadgets that grows as the game goes on. You've got the Stun Club, which is a club for stunning things. Take that! Yeah, that's right, stay back! Anybody else want some of this? I don't think so. The Monkey Radar, which is a radar for monkeys, which has the added bonus of coming with descriptions of said monkeys, like Jory, who reads Japanese comics. The Sky Flyer, which lets you fly in the sky. And of course, there's the Super Who! And many more. The game's main focus is the gameplay, but rest assured, during your adventure, you'll come across a few cutscenes, and they're. they're, uh. oh, they're just darling. Hello, Professor. Remember me? It's me, Spectre, the future leader of the New Age. Spectre, what ha- who, what's going on here? Spectre, oh yes. Spectre? Apes? What are you talking about? Ow, 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 ouch! My, my head. Oh, hurry up, please get me out of here. It's cold, I'm scared, and I have a fear of heights. There's no stopping us now. The future is mine! <laughs> Spike in particular is getting some pretty high readings on the dork meter. I can't reach you from here. I've gotta find a way in there. That's the thanks I get. Hope you didn't hit your head too hard. Do you think you can help me? Sure, but how do I get in there? Will you hurry up? Okay. Well, it's not my fault. Yeah! I'm so <laughs> oh, glad you're ouch. back. Spike, the world is on the verge of extinction, overthrown by hate-filled simians. Only you, my son, can be called upon to deliver the Earth from evil and save mankind. Ah, oh, gosh! I can't save the Earth right now! I've got school tomorrow! Get the hell off my mountain. Overall, I'd say it's a very fun 3D platformer, and there's even some bonus stuff to collect, like these Spectre coins that let you unlock mini-games, like, uh, paper skiing? Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. However, there is one thing about this game that really does bug me. 
There's actually two endings, one for playing through it normally, and one for getting every single monkey. This may not sound like a big deal, but let me explain. Whenever you enter a level for the first time, the amount of monkeys you are required to collect is less than the amount of monkeys in the level total. But when you capture the required amount of monkeys for the first time, the game kicks you out of the level automatically. Meaning if you want to get 100% and go to the true final boss, you're gonna have to play every single level at least twice. It's a pretty cheap way to lengthen the game, and while it is a fun game, I personally couldn't be bothered to go through it all again just to get a slightly better boss battle. So I guess Spectre wins. The future is mine! <laughs> but when you get right down to it, this game holds a pretty special place in my heart. It was a very creative way to introduce people to dual analog controls, and even today it's still a very fun and unique platformer in its own right. I certainly consider it a PlayStation classic. Right up there with Crash and Spyro and Castlevania and Metal Gear! <laughs> Jesus. So in my opinion, Ape Escape is definitely worth checking out. And it has monkeys and pants.